In this video, we're going to continue topic 8.12, where we're working on the washer method with different axes of revolution. So we're going to find the volume of the solid um, formed by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of y equals x squared plus 1, which is the blue one. And you'll notice I solved it already to put it in terms of x. Um, y equals 0, which is the red one. Um, x equals 0, which is green and x equals 1, which is brown. We're supposed to be going, we're revolving about the line x equals 2, which is here. So that's our axis of revolution. So we know we're going in the y direction. That's why I solved this for y. Um, this is the region that we're revolving. And we notice that it is not touching our axis of revolution, which is why we have a washer. So when we're in this situation, um, we always want to do the outer function minus the inner function. So in this case, my outer function, if I'm looking at the bottom part here, my outer function is the green one. My inner function is the brown one. And then we're met, but remember when we set that up, we have to go right minus left, sorry, left minus no, right minus left. So I'm going to go from my right first, which is the um, axis of revolution. So let's start setting up the bottom or the um, this one here, which I notice I have two because I have two places where I would be able to draw rectangles. So we're going to go volume equals pi. We're going in the y direction. We're going from zero to one. All right, this is my outer function my outer or my sorry my right is the um axis of revolution and we know our axis of revolution is x equals two so i'm going to start with two minus my outer function which is the green which is zero and then i'm going to subtract my inner function again we're in the dy so we're going to put dy um, my inner function is the, we're going to start with the right. The right is still the axis of revolution. So we do two minus the inner function, which is the X equals one. Now that was only half of our yellow region here. We have to do the other half. So I'm going to start it the same way plus pi for my revolution. We're going from one to two this time. We know we're going to have to end, or we've got a squared. We're going to have to subtract squared dy. Again, I need to identify my outer and my inner. So let's see. My outer function looks like the blue one, right? Because it's further away from the axis of revolution. My inner function is the brown one again. Um, and then we're going to go right minus left. So my right is the two. It's actually the two. It's in the right in both of the functions. Minus the left, which is my um, blue function for the outer, and I'm going to use the y value, so, or the in terms of y, so minus the square root of y minus one. And then my inner function, which is one, so minus one um, for the, for that and then that's it. We're not going to try to integrate this one, even though I know I said to. We're just going to work on the setup piece.